Okay, in today's episode, we're going to discuss why not to buy a blue water sailboat. First, we're going to discuss what a blue water sailboat is and the definition, or kinda. Blue water sailboats are designed for extended voyages where wind conditions can exceed winds of over 40 knots and wave heights of over 13 feet. A true blue water sailing vessel will be largely self-sufficient. They are capable of easily crossing oceans, often have a shorter sail plan and heavier displacement. They're designed for you to be able to cut across the ocean for sticking close to shore. Size. Generally, blue water sailboats, in order for them to be comfortable and enjoyable for such long journeys, there will need to be plenty of storage space for equipment, spare parts, as well as ample holding tanks for both fuel and fresh water. Based on that criteria alone, it's unlikely that anything less than the 38-foot boat would be sufficient. 42 to 45 feet would meet the basic storage criteria as well as provide an interior layout for additional guests and sufficient crew. You will also need several additional electronic systems such as autopilot, wind vane, solar power, additional sails, and several more. I'm not saying you cannot cross oceans with far less. I'm simply pointing out the ideal scenarios for a nice blue water vessel. So here, the boat pictured is a Dana 24. It's an incredibly small boat. It absolutely can cross oceans. It has crossed oceans. But is it going to be comfortable? No. You're going to be tossed around. There's basically nowhere safe to sleep in rough seas. They're gorgeous boats. They're made amazing. They have awesome woodwork. But is it going to be an ideal blue water cruiser? No, it's not. It's going to be an entry-level cruiser that'll get you on the water and then you can possibly grow from there. Now here is the fun part. Why not to buy one? First reason not to buy one would be based on your experience. If this is your first foray into sailing and you have ideas of someday hoping to circumnavigate, a blue water boat is not what you should start with. Start with something smaller and more manageable. Spend some time sailing and figure out what aspects of boats and boat layout is important to you. Something else to consider if you're a novice sailor is will you even like it? Will you even like living on a sailboat? This goes back to the experience, but the reality of living on a sailboat for years at a time, will you even like it? This goes back to experience, but is the reality of living on a sailboat for years at a time something that you're even going to enjoy? You might spend six months sailing the Caribbean or even going as far as through the Panama Canal and simply decide it's just not for you. It might just not be something you like. There are thousands and thousands of boats in the Caribbean and on the Pacific side of the canal where this is exactly what people did. They had huge dreams of sailing the world, spent a year or so on the boat and decided it just wasn't for them. True sailing is not what you see on YouTube. It's not all clear water and swimming with dolphins. It's a lot of work, a lot of maintenance, and can absolutely be worth it. You just need to get some experience and see if it's for you before you drop over $100,000 on a blue water vessel. Yes, they can be had for cheaper, but again, I'm discussing ideal blue water sailors. Price. The entry price for a true blue water sailboat that meets the criteria for not only comfort, but everything else mentioned is much, much higher than your typical production island hopping boat. So when I'm talking about not buying a blue water sail, this is what I'm referring to. I found this article on five budget blue water sailboats. The budget for these is around $250,000 to $300,000. I literally thought I jumped into the twilight zone for a second. This to me seems absolutely ridiculous for a new sailor or sailing couple to run out and drop this kind of money on this type of a boat. 
There are much, much better options that are far less expensive that will get you across oceans just fine, just as comfortable, and save you tons and tons and thousands and thousands of dollars. There is absolutely no need to buy one of these as a newer sailor. There are far better options that are much less expensive. One huge myth in sailing is that production boats can't cross oceans. Well, newsflash, they absolutely can and do every single day, and you will see far more Benetos crossing oceans than any other boat out there. And Beneto is the largest production boat maker in the world. Blue water sailboats and refitting. A lot of times on forums and other places on social media, you'll see people speak of how they got an absolute steal of a deal on some blue water sailboat they just got that just needs some refit work. Well, again, this is never true. Every time you buy a boat that needs a refit, as you are refitting the boat, you will run into more problems. It's just a fact. And that means more and more time. Time is money. And if you have to spend two years on shore on the hard, fixing your blue water sailboat and refitting it in that amount of time you realistically could have just worked saved some more money and then went out and bought one that was ready to go versus sitting on shore now if you enjoy that type of work then fantastic that might be a great option for you but just be aware refits are never as simple as they seem Another thing to think about when refitting a boat is the amount of time involved in refitting it. It always takes longer than you think. Time is money. So if you have to spend six months or a year refitting a boat, again, in that six months or year time, the boat you were initially thinking of could have changed or dropped in price. Currently, with the way the world's going and the coronavirus, there are some amazing deals to be had on sailboats. I am a firm believer in getting on the water as soon as possible. There is a famous quote, go simple, go small, go now. Buy something smaller to begin with. There are people on incredibly small boats traveling all over. It can be done. It might not be as comfortable as let's say a 47 foot true blue water cruiser but it'll get you on the water enjoying life while determining what your plans are in the caribbean alone there are 7,000 islands to explore and it can be done on almost any day sailor save the money initially buy something that will get you out on the water now and going the only time i would suggest buying a blue water boat is if you have experience sailing, several years of experience, that way you know exactly what to look for. And if your plan is circumnavigating the globe for the next five to six years, production boats can do the occasional crossing and always do. And 99% of the time, honestly, that's what most sailors wind up doing. They do an occasional ocean crossing once a year maybe a few times total. 